Chapter 8, Action Planning, The Way Forward. Take the whole CGMF survey. Discuss with your board and CEO. Review your ethical risks, taking into account all your stakeholders. Review your codes and policies. By completing the confidential self-assessment survey, you will be able to ascertain your corporate governance maturity in 24 dimensions. You are then able to plot the results in the form of a dashboard and use this to communicate your organization's CG maturity. During the course of the self-assessment, you will receive guidance on what indicators to use for the different levels of maturity and the ECTT Corporate Governance Framework Guide document. The Framework Guide also gives practical guidance on many of the indicators as well as references to further reading and resource material. The Lean Change Canvas model is a tool which helps the organization to focus on key areas influencing or impacted by changes required to improve its corporate governance framework. Eight specific areas are put forth for analysis and assessment. Urgency and capability of the organization. The organization should list the top three reasons or forces that make the desired change compelling. Additionally, this section should be used to identify what needs to be changed, activities, approach, policies, etc., and whether it is feasible given the organizational resources, needs, and strategic focus. Change recipients and change champions. By identifying the change recipients, that is, those impacted by the change, role, level, team, etc., the organization can focus its change activities in a manner which allows for the easier acceptance, transition, and adoption of the desired change. Identifying change champions also facilitates this process, and tactics can be designed which play upon their strengths and capabilities. Vision and Key Behaviors the vision is a compelling statement which describes what destination looks like. Organizations should also identify key behaviors required to realize the vision. Communication. How you plan two-way communication to take place. Target state. Strategic pillars derived from top drivers in urgency. Action. Key methods used by you to bring about change. Benefits, quantitative and qualitative. Performance, capability, morale. 
required investments, constraints around time, costs, effort. These are hard constraints and commitment from recipients, leaders, change agents. These are other known barriers to change. Success criteria. What will change when? Chapter 8, Lesson Review. What are the benefits to be derived from good corporate governance? What are the principal laws of Trinidad and Tobago that deal with the board's responsibility in relation to business ethics? What foreign legislation applicable to ethics in the organization should businesses in Trinidad and Tobago be aware of? What are the main components of a third-party compliance program? What are the main elements of a business ethics system? What tools can you use to strengthen your company's corporate governance system?